I have a friend of mine in Brazil, his name is Fernando. And then back in 2008, Fernando calls me up and said, man, this year is going to be awesome. This year, I want to make a lot of money and lose weight. And I said, go ahead and do it. So the whole year passed by. It is January 2009. Guess who called me? Fernando. He said, man, I was wrong. 08, not a good year. But this year, though, 2009 is going to be amazing. This year, I want to make a lot of what? A lot of? I want to lose what? Wait. Bro, go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Right. So 2010, I take a month off, go to Thailand, come back, start working, and I saw that little Skype, you know, the, does anybody use Skype? Ring, ring, ring. Fernando. Say, hey, what's up, buddy? Speaking Portuguese. He goes, man, 08, 09, terrible year. But 2010 is going to be different. This year, I'm going to make a lot of what? A lot of? I'm going to lose what? Wait, wait. Say, Fernando, I have good news, bad news. Now, the good news that, yes, you can make the money, you can lose the weight. The bad news that in life, you don't get what you want. In life, you only get what you're committed to. Think about that. Nobody in this room, we get what we want. Is that correct? Yes or no, guys? Yes. It's not about wanting to, it's about what? Being what? Committed to. So I just want to acknowledge you guys for being committed and being here. So I'm super honored and excited to spend today with you. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to talk about storytelling or how to use stories to sell.